We just printed on dark cotton t-shirts using three different methods, glitter HTV, flak HTV, and printable HTV, and we'll show you which one we like the best right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we, and we have a new video each week. This week, we're back at it with a black t-shirt battle. Printable HTV had me on the ropes last week, but I'm feeling refreshed and I'm ready for round four. Printable HTV will not defeat me. Yes, we're looking forward to showing you what printable HTV can really do. And we're gonna show you two additional methods for printing on black t-shirts. We're gonna use some glitter iron on, some glitter HTV, and we're gonna use some flock. Project number one, printable HTV, round four. Fight. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. What well, we needed a black t-shirt because we're doing this on black t-shirts. And these are cotton, so you can do this on the cotton blend or 100% cotton with the printable HTV. And then we needed some printable HTV and an inkjet printer. You're gonna need your Cricut oh. Easy Press and we're gonna do this as a printing cut this time, so we are gonna use our Cricut. Step two, print and cut. Sometimes it's a little confusing how to do a print and a cut. So we're gonna jump into Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how I do my print and cuts. We're gonna upload an image. Now I always use complex for fine detail and color blending and the background looks like it's gone. We're gonna select print then cut image. Now I'm gonna add this to my canvas. Let's size this down so I can do a print and cut. That's 9.25. Now let's do this three more times. I broke the image up so that it'd be easier to do all of these print and cuts and then cuts. Looks good. Time to just hit make it. Now for printable HTV, we do not want to mirror this. We're going to print it just how it is. Let's continue. I'm going to send it to the printer. I have to find my inkjet printer and print. And let's send the second mat to the printer too. All right, the print is done. Now let's do our cut. We'll go find our materials. We'll do printable, printable vinyl on the bottom. Let's go load our material and make the cut. Now let's do the same thing for the first mat. Step three, press it. We're gonna press it real good. Everything's cut out, but we need to remove the lint, give it a pre-press before we put my little stickers up on there. We have everything laid out. I'm not gonna even breathe. And this time we're gonna use a Teflon sheet. Hopefully it won't stick to this. Although this is some fresh stuff, so maybe the last stuff was bad. It was spoiled. Oh, I can see through it, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go in 340 heat for 90 seconds. It says 338, but I'm gonna gamble and throw in an extra two. Heavy pressure if you're gonna use the easy press. Heavy pressure for like 10 seconds, right? Then we move it around. These 90 seconds are way up. <laughs> He's scared. Just of it. making sure this He's time. He's scared of it this time. Wow, okay. that came right off that time. All right. Okay. Now let's do some edge checking. Oh, that's pretty flat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't even. He's hot. Barely feel it, but yeah, it's hot. Woo. Hot stuff. Hot stuff coming through right here. Hot stuff. Looks pretty good. You going leopard print this time? I am. Feeling saucy. <laughs> saucy. <laughs> Winner! Get! <laughs> it was a tough fight, but I knew I could do it. I knew where his weaknesses were. <laughs> Project number two, sublimation on glitter heat transfer vinyl. Not all the glitters is gold. Sometimes it's a really cool shirt. 
Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a black t-shirt because we're making black t-shirts. Now this t-shirt is 100% cotton. Because we're actually gonna be sublimating on the glitter vinyl, you can use a 100% cotton t-shirt or a cotton blend, either or one. anything. <laughs> we needed some glitter heat transfer vinyl. This is what makes the magic happen. Yep, we're gonna use our A-sub sublimation paper in our Epson Ecotank 2760 printer. We also needed a heat press. We have our Cricut Easy Press. We're gonna use a print and cut on this one too. So we're gonna use our Cricut Maker and then you need some high heat tape. And that is it. Step two, uh, we're gonna do a print, cut, and cut. We're gonna print on our sublimation paper. Then we're going to cut the sublimation paper out. Then we're gonna cut the glitter vinyl out to match the shape of the sublimation paper. Yes. And I'll show you guys how to do that in design space. We're gonna use the same image. We we'll hit make it. Now for these, we want to mirror it. So we're gonna mirror mat one and mirror mat two. We'll hit continue, send to printer. Now let's go find our sublimation printer. It's the Epson 2760 and hit print. We're gonna do this print and cut just like we did with the printable HTV, except this time we're gonna use paper, deluxe paper. It's gonna print a big black border with your image. It's gonna use this border to find out where your image is to make the cut. And second mat, same as the first. Using the same image, we'll select everything and turn this into a basic cut. I'll attach everything. Let's check the size to know how much material I'll need. Make it. We'll use a mat. And let's mirror this to make sure it lines up with the sublimation. We'll select our material. We're looking for glitter iron-on. Done. The app even reminds you to make sure that it's mirrored and placed face down on your mat. Step three, yeah. press it, press it real good. We're gonna press it twice, actually. First, we're gonna press it so that the glitter HTV will stick to the shirt just enough so we can pull back off the backer. And then we're gonna sublimate it. So I think we're gonna start with lining that up. Yep, we're gonna yeah. center this on our shirt and we're gonna press this at 390 for 60 seconds. Let's kind of trim this up a little bit. Yeah, I think we should trim it up. It's got excess I don't want glitter. all this excess glitter all over the shirt to press to the shirt. We just roughly trimmed it up. All right, I'll let you line them up. All right, let me center this thing. No, I think it looks good. If it is crooked, you'll just lean one way. I didn't roll and pre-press. Oh, no roll. Got to no roll and pre-press. Little lint rolling here. You don't want anything under there, making it so it doesn't adhere. And we're gonna do a quick, just basic press to get any wrinkles out. Again, we wanna make sure we have a nice flat surface so it adheres well. All right, I'll let you line it up. Let me do it again. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, go ahead. 390 for like 10 to 15 seconds just to get it to stick. Do you want me to count Mississippi's? Five, six, I'm counting. All right, I want to see if it's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. It's hot. Great. All right. 
Now we have our base for sublimation. Where are all your little pieces over here? All of our little sublimation pieces that we uh, did a print and cut on. We're using high heat tape to keep our image in place so it doesn't move while we press. We're going in for 390 degrees for one full minute. And don't move it, don't move it. You can move it around with the printable HTV. This stuff is, uh, you're down, you're down. Yes, with the sublimation paper, if you move the sublimation paper on your substrate, it will leave a ghosting image, and you don't want to do that. So well, this one, you just to find some give it some spooky. good pressure, though. But don't wiggle it. Just a little bit? Don't even wiggle it a little bit. All right, we ready for the reveal? Let's see what we got. Yeah, you can tell it did something because you can see that it bled through the paper. Let's start with the little guy. Oh yeah. Looking cute. Looking good. All right, next. Woo, that's hot. Woo, still looks great. Look at that. I, like I did, I chose out. a little different image this week because I wanted the Shoot. sparkle behind it. Yeah, look at that, that sparkle. Looks good with the sparkle. Shoo uh, look at that. All See, right. it looks dull on the paper, but once you put that heat to it, it really pops. Brings those colors right Let out. show you what we're working with. This one might be hotter than the uh, printable HTV. Yeah. Project number three, we're gonna sublimate on flock heat transfer vinyl. I know what you're thinking, what the flock is flock? It's kind of like fuzzy polyester stuff with a sticky background. So instead of it being glitter heat transfer, it's just a fuzzy heat transfer. It's gonna be the same, it's still gonna have that vinyl uh, overlay on the t-shirt, and then we're gonna sublimate right on top of the flock. Yeah. Now I haven't tried this before, so we're gonna do this one together. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a black t-shirt again because we're doing black t-shirts. And this one is also cotton because you're just ironing on. You're not gonna sublimate directly onto the t-shirt. You're gonna sublimate on the flock HTV. And we needed that flock HTV. We needed our A sub paper to print our image on from our Epson Eco Tank, our sublimation printer. We needed a heat press. We have the Cricut Easy Press again, make it a comeback. And we're gonna do this one as a print and cut as well. So we're gonna use our Cricut Maker 3. Step two, we're gonna do a print, cut, and cut. It's the same as the glitter vinyl, and we're gonna do the same process, the same print and cut, and the same cut, just flock instead of glitter. Everything's the same. I am just selecting flocked iron-on as my materials. Step three, we're gonna lay it down on the shirt. First, we're gonna press the flock HTV down. Again, 10, 15 seconds or until it's sticky. And then we're going to sublimate on this. We're gonna give it a lint roll, then we'll give it a quick pre-press to get all the wrinkles out and lay down the flock. And lay it down, lay down some tracks. Lay down some tracks. <laughs> You're feeling it today, babe. Yeah. All right, I'll let you eye it up. That way you can't yell at me. I know what you're doing. <laughs> is that where it is? All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Again, sticky. we're just trying to get the flock to stick before we do a full press with the sublimation. All right, great, cool. Cool, I like it. It looks fuzzy. Three ninety, one minute. Let's see. Oh, Ooh, that's how hot it is. No, it definitely came off. Yeah, no, it did it. It's just. Uh... Oh, they both came off. Mm. Oh, huh. like that. Yeah. Watch, let's hold that up to the other two. <laughs> let's hold that up to the glitter. All right, what 
you guys think? We have the printable HTV. We have the glitter vinyl sublimation. So far, that's my favorite. Our flock, which we've learned is that uh, aged antique look. So keep that in mind. Yeah. It's not super aged, vibrant. Antique, a little I mean, fuzzy it, looking. Yeah, I love the way it feels. It just doesn't have those vibrant colors. And, and then, then I even have the comparison up here with the Easy Subly. And put that Easy Subly next to the glitter vinyl. I think that's the next head to head challenge right there. Yes. Glitter vinyl, Easy Subly. Well, and the printable HTV, I think they're all great. They're yeah. all, you can all feel the vinyl on top. Um, this yeah. is very, I think the printable HTV is the thinnest. I think it's These the easiest. It was thicker. definitely the easiest to do. This and was, yeah. the, the at I, the least amount of tools to do it. Yes, and the glitter, I, I just love the look of the glitter. That's That might just be my personal preference. <laughs> but I love the, the sublimation on the glitter HTV. Mm -hmm. And then of course sublimation on this easy subly is great. So these are our, these three are our choices. Yeah. And I don't know if I have a preference one over the other. You want glitter? Do you have, if you don't have a sublimation printer, you can certainly do it without a sublimation printer. But if you do, easy subly might be the way to go. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you guys interacting with us. We are a big Make It fam, and it's fun to interact with everyone, and I love the feedback you guys give us, and I love being able to offer the files and the videos. So thank just you a, again. It's just a give and take. <laughs> it's a give and take. We're about out of time, so if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, I guess we'll see you next week then. Nope. See you on Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see you on Tuesdays. That's right. We'll see you on Tuesday. There's nothing to balance, and the heat press is still hot. Yeah, don't, don't balance that. All right, I'll just wave it around my head then. Wave it around. Woo. I could do that one. Oh, I'm going to do two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing.